Is this for my benefit? I beg your pardon? Oh, look, sighing and big silence. I don't know what you're talking about. If you've got something to say, just say it. I know what people are whispering behind my back. Oh, yeah? Why couldn't she have stayed where she was? Why does she have to come back? Why can't she leave well alone? <laughs> I wasn't thinking any such thing. Well, I am staying. I want what's mine. And the fact that Ian is your nephew does not mean that he's not at least half responsible for this mess. Laura? What? You're not that important. Morning. Oh, hello again. Bit of folly, that fur. But very stupid there. I spilled gravy all over my suit last night. Is there any chance you can sort oh, of that? Oh, yeah, we'll fix that. Monday all right for you? Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. By the way, um, I saw the for sale sign going up outside Markson. So, he hasn't changed his mind? Seemingly not. Are you all right, Pauline? No, Roy, I'm not all right. I'm very far from being all right. But is there anything we can do? Well, short of chaining him to the railings in the square, I don't see what we can do. Right, but is there anything you need, love? Pauline, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realise about Mark. Why is your mom such a nightmare? Well, she's not. You don't need a psychologist to tell you why you're really leaving. Get off all yard. I've only been here two weeks and already I feel suffocated, but they have to grow up with it. Just pack it in. Makes a very strange personality. Hi, Martin. Your mum seems to take this news about Mark very badly. Well, are you surprised? Yeah, well, he's grown up, isn't he? I mean, he's got to make his own decisions. God, everyone knows everybody else's business. No wonder you're all crazy. Haven't you got anything to do? Apparently not. Hey, Martin, you fancy not out west? Oh, this sounds interesting. Yeah, what's going on? I'm making me brother's rights on the door at Beezers. I mean, I'm making for free. Really? Mm, you're up for it. Oh, no, I can't see. Uh, Derek's going out tonight, and I don't want to leave my mum on her own. I'll come. No, 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 you don't. Oh, and I so take my orders from you. It's Spencer, right? Hmm. Hi, nice to meet you. Right. I'm Vicky. What mm. time? Well, I suppose about half seven. Cool. Okay. Wait for me outside. You know you can ask pay for your own drinks and fares and stuff, don't you? I can get money. Are you not listening? Is there anything to get out of that house for anything? <laughs> Mum will go spare. I'll see you at 7.30, Spencer. See you later. Yeah, see you later, Spencer. Bye. How much money am I likely to need? More than you've got. Oh, I like not more. Will you keep your favourite hands off? Oh, fine. If you're going to be such a tight fist, I'm going to have to find somebody who's not. Saw the for sale sign go up. What's your mum got to say about it? I don't know. We ain't talking. I can't say I blame her. Oh, thanks for that helpful remark. I thought family meant something to you. I thought you'd have got enough in your mind without having a go at me. I'm not worried about Laura. I would. Mark, she can make all the noise she wants, right? She can drag me through every court in the land, but there ain't no judge who's gonna make me pay for another bloke's kid. I support you with that. Why can't you support me? Fair enough. Can you get cover for the chippy tonight? Why? Why don't you have to go on out for a bite tonight? Oh, sorry, mate. You're not my type, and I'm not that desperate. I want some company, that's all. <laughs> Besides, no one else seems to be talking to me. All right, I'll try and get hold of the sitter. I'll give you a ring later, yeah? Appreciate it. Cheers. Good evening. Did you wipe your feet? Told in the hole for tea. Told them what? Sausages and batter. Now, if you want to make yourself useful, you can lay the table. Hi. What's your day, guys? What's your day for? But she's never going to let you go. I'm just going upstairs to powder my nose. <laughs> Don't forget the placemats to get. She's gone upstairs. Has she now? Vicky! No, I'm, look, it's all right. I'll lay the table. But I asked her to do oh, it. I know. It's not worth it, all right? What's the matter? I'm just not that hungry, that's all. But you're a growing girl. You need good food inside you. Billy Nan, I'm fine. You liked yours, didn't you? It was delicious, Mum, yeah. I hope you're not getting one of these eating disorders that we read about. No. Well, what then? <laughs> it was just a little bit fatty for me, actually. Oh, I see. And a diet high in saturates is one of the main contributors to coronary heart disease in the Western Hemisphere. Is that a fact? Yes, Nan. It is a fact. Right. Well, I'll go and get the pudding. That's uh, peaches and cream, if that's all right with you. Out of a can? Yes. I'll pass if that's okay. Excuse me. Oh, 
Matt. Cheers. I'm going to be late. You can't go. What are you talking about? Mum will go up the wall. What the eye doesn't see. Right, so what am I supposed to tell her? Oh, I'm at Sharon's. Where's she gone? Oh, uh, yeah, she said she's popping around Sharon's. Oh, really? Mm. Thanks, Mum. Mm. Oh, sweet freedom. Are you sure you want to do this? Of course. You know what I want to do now? What? Right. I need to defoul on myself. Uh, wait for me. No, anyway, where are we going to go and eat? Hello. I thought we might catch a troop in the town. Get an Italian or something. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Vicky! Oh, Fowler's help! Wait up! Oh. Yeah, listeners. Yeah, well, maybe that's what I've been missing. Is this the same midlife crisis you were having the other day, or is it a new one? I think I've left it a bit late for that. What? Oh, look who it is. Who's this woman he's been hanging around with? I couldn't be less interested. How keen are you on going into town? Ian, don't. Oh, come on, it'd be a laugh. I think we can have a laugh on our own. There is nothing wrong with a little bit of Mitchell baiting, is there? Ian, please. Come on, fancy carrot. Table for two, please. Hey, you too. Good evening. Glad I bumped into you, Phil. With me having my bankruptcy lifted, I was uh, looking to expand my portfolio of business interests. Yeah, I've talked a lot of old cobblers here. Yeah, I was, uh, I was thinking about the calf, actually. I mean, starting to look a little bit run down these days. Could do with a new injection of blood. Huh? Hello again. Hello. Feels like a second dad to me, aren't you, Phil? I wonder what the toilets are like in there. You are. Ian knows what I'm talking about, doesn't you, Ian? What's the matter? Looking a bit flushed. Nice. Oh, that's how he wants to play it. This is a really bad idea. Oh, come on, where's your sense of humour? I don't want to sit next to them all night. We can't go now, it's one nil to him. Bill, when you ready, please, mate. Are you that anxious to get away? I'm bargaining on him. Are you sure that's, that's all on your mind? It's not my idea of a relaxing evening. This isn't working out. I wondered when we we're going to get round to talking about the other day. Yeah, Phil. Want any more about more from Phil Cat? It's not for sale. You know how that cash started going downhill? When you change its name from Caffey's, first thing I'd do, change it back again. I'm not whacking, man. Do you want to name your price? Or should I just make you an offer? I'm sorry, but we're having a conversation here and you're being rather rude. Do you mind? That's the first time you've smiled all night. Where were we? Oh, yeah, you were in the middle of dumping me, I think. What are you like? You know why he behaves like that, don't you? What? Well, that kind of loud mouth boastful behaviour is almost always a symptom of chronic insecurity. Is it now? Not that there's anything wrong with being insecure. I'm insecure myself, most of us are. It's how we respond to it that matters. You don't strike me as being insecure. Yeah, you'd be surprised. You see, when somebody like him isn't sure of himself, he throws his weight around. Where is that? What? Well, when I'm nervous, I tend to run away. You don't need to be frightened of me. What do you do when you're insecure? Never am. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, everybody's insecure about something. You try to head shrink me or something. And what's with the looks, eh? Do you know what I'd like to do right now? What? I'd like to crawl inside that head of yours. Have a little poke around and turn over a few stones and find out what's lurking underneath. Wonder what I'd find. You wouldn't like it. I'm a lot stronger than you think, Phil. I thought you said you were insecure. I'm both. Complicated, isn't it? <laughs> Has it not occurred to you that the other day might not have been about me not wanting you? It might have been about me wanting you too much. Oh, for God's sake, what are I seeing him? I'm not interested, I'm not even looking. Listen, Ian. No? Thing is, I'm worried about Mum. What, she going off around the world? Yeah. Well, don't go then. I mean, the offer of a business is still there. I'm not going to change my mind about this. 
But Mark, if you're going through a bad patch, I mean, it seems daft to run away from the people who care about you most. I need you to keep an eye out for me. I'm talking about Mum and Martin. How long are you going for? I don't know. Will you do this for me? Are you going after Lisa? Just to answer the question. Of course I will. It's family, isn't it? Yeah. Now, let's get out of here. Don't worry so soon. If I don't see you before you go, give my love to me, Mum, and have a think about my offer for the calf. As your wife then? Oh, sorry, I forgot. She left you, didn't she? No, I think you're getting muddled up, Phil. She didn't leave me. I threw her out. Like Cindy didn't leave you. Like Mel didn't leave you. Have a day off here, will you? I really appreciate your concern, but I wouldn't worry about Laura. No money, no job, no friends. I'm really going to enjoy watching her grovel. You know you're trouble, Ian. Phil. Where's Lisa? Pack it in, Ian. Why don't you get him to tell you where Lisa is? As I was saying, <laughs> you know your problem, Ian? You're insecure, which leaves you looking like a prat. I'd take a look at that if I was you. Keep the change, mate. Free do to me. What do you reckon? I feel like celebrating. You fancy a drink? We can go to this club, Anna. I thought I'd just been dumped. Yeah, well, you've uh, just been undumped. Actually, I'd rather just be alone with you. Someone who's gone round to Sharon, she's been an awful long time. Oh, don't, Mum. It's not your concern. Let's answer phone. I'll phone the club. We're not going to see each other for a while. No. Do you regret that? I think I do. What Ian said back there about Lisa. What about it? Let it make you curious. Well, the last time we had that conversation, you said you didn't want to talk about it. No. Have you changed your mind? I will tell you, but I'm just not ready yet. Like I wasn't ready the other day. Maybe. Well, when you get back, maybe we will be. Ready, I mean. Maybe we will. Cheers. Hello? Had no Polly, she's gone clubbing in town. I thought you knew. Well, the little madam. I knew she was up to something. She told me she was coming round to you. Oh, it's all right. She's here. Bye. I just invited Spencer back for some coffee. That's okay, right? No, it's not okay. You out now. Excuse me, so I'm not even allowed to have friends now? Where have you been? Like I told you, at Sharon's. Liar. I've just spoken to Sharon at the club. She said you were going uptown. You're such a control freak. I thought I told you to go. I see you, Vicky. Uh, no, you stay right there. Okay, so I went into town. Why didn't I tell you? Because I knew you'd freak. Did I smoke? Did I take drugs? Did I have wild sex? Did I even come back that late? I don't think so. But a paranoid old dragon like you is never going to believe that, is you she? You can forget all about our shopping trip because that's now right, Al. And I'm so heartbroken. I beg your pardon. You know, what with you being the style guru of Walford and all. Just go to your room. <laughs> no way. You're grounded. Oh, please. Are you defying me? What are you going to do? Lock me up? Alfie's going to be wondering where I am. I should get off. You came back for coffee. I'll see you, Vicky. Oh, thanks. I'm sure our relationship will go really far. Right, go upstairs. No way. You are a spoiled, selfish little brat, just like your father. Good. I hear he was quite a character. I'm warning you. Sharon's at the club, you say? Come back here! I know where my mom gets it from now. Just in the night in Walford. <sighs> this is my car. So it is. Well? Can I wake them all up? I don't want to see you for a while, am I? No. Is that your mum at the window? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because that's what she's like. 
I'll back up. Is that your idea of a proper case? I mean, are you ashamed of me or something? Of course not, but it won't be you getting a third degree over breakfast in the morning, will it? All right. Well, you've made that very clear. I'll see you when you get back. Come on, don't be like that. Well, how else am I supposed to take it? It's, it's not like I don't feel anything for you, is it? No, no. But you're too scared to let Mummy know that. I'll see you, Phil. Kate, I love you. All right? It's just that, well, she gives me such a hard time about this sort of thing. It drives me nuts. I know. What did you just say? You heard the first time. I've got to go. Phil! 